Hey there, welcome to a brand new episode of Music Express. My name is Twan and for this week's vlog I sat down with Daniel Ortiz from We Are Loud to talk with him about his track Booya, which he released together with the guys from Showtech and Sonny Wilson. Enjoy! Daniel Ortiz is a Dutch DJ, producer, songwriter and sound engineer. His most successful production so far is the track Booya. This Electro House track came out under his We Are Loud alias and it was done together with the guys from Showtech and singer-songwriter Sonny Wilson. Booya got released in the summer of 2013 but it is still being played at many parties and festivals these days. So a good reason to sit down with Daniel to ask him about the story behind Booya. My first question to Daniel was when he started with listening to dance music. I think it was like uh, in 89 uh, that it was the first time I heard a track that was um, for me that was different the different one uh, from the tracks that I was listening uh, at that time yeah and do you remember uh, which which track that was uh, that was uh, stacker by humanoid oh, yeah. or the other way around yeah. humanoid with stacker yeah. yeah so around what time did you start with making your own music uh, I think when I was 12 I was starting to make like mixes with um, I had two cassette players where, with, with pitch and uh, I bought my first uh, sampler when I was 16 and um, yeah started to make a little bit music hardcore <laughs> rave do, do you remember your very first release ever? I think I was 24 yeah and what which track was that uh, it was a track on Diggy dance uh, it was a remix I did for DJ Rose was a female DJ I think I was 25 I think the wall was one of the first tracks and um, I produced some R&B tracks with my uh, met my nephew uh, that was um, also around that time uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so let's talk about the track Booya, a production you did under your We Are Loud alias back in 2013, together with the guys from Showtech and singer-songwriter Sonny Wilson. Um, how did this, how did this collaboration came about? Uh, it was well, it was it started in 2012 uh, with my colleague Bjorn. Uh, we went to the same uh, uh, school, and uh, we started the project, and. Um, we heard a song by Damian Marley and Skrillex. It was a, a kind of uh, reggae uh, dubstep crossover. And we re really liked uh, the tune and uh, we thought, oh, uh, should we try something like this with a breakdown and then make it like an EDM house track. So uh, that's that's the whole idea. And then we, we called Sonny and uh, First, we were looking for like a typical reggae s a singer. We couldn't find it, and Sonny is, is, is a guy. He, he can, um, yeah, he, he has so much different voices. So uh, he, he tried, like he, he wrote the lyrics in like 20 minutes. It, I think it was a one taker, and we thought, yeah, this is it. I think he nailed it, and uh, so we kind of worked on a demo and uh, sent it to uh, Marcel Scheffers. To Dutch, uh, we also we already uh, released a couple of uh, club tunes under uh, first under Daniel and Bjorn, and after the second one was under We Allowed, and um, so we we sent them this uh, demo, and, and he wanted to sign it for uh, for the own imprint uh, from uh, a musical uh, uh, madness, yeah, and. After a couple of days, uh, Marcel called us back and said, well, I'm sitting here with the guys from Showtech and they really like the demo. And they asked uh, us to work to work together and, 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 and kind of remake the song. So we had to think about that for <laughs> about five minutes. And then, uh, yeah, we, we, we kind of remaked it with, with Showtech, yeah. What kind of equipment was used for the production of the track? Well, uh, the the demo we make was kind of all in the box. Um, the equipment Showtech uses, uh, I mean, we, we weren't there. 
we uh, I made the stamps and uh, they kind of did their magic. So the the, the lead sound, um, I, I can't answer you that because uh, they did that in the studio. Uh, most of the stuff we did are is uh, in the box. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so so was it the plan from the start already to make Buya a vocal track? Yeah, yeah, because we heard that Damien uh, Marley song. Uh, yeah, the first uh, we called it uh, "Rocking It Like This." Buya sample was added on later because uh, the first title was also "Rocking It Like This," and uh, yeah, we came up with Buya much much later when uh, Showtech came up with the sample. So that then uh, after that we called it Buya. So do you remember which DJs played the track back then? Uh, I think uh, almost all the uh, DJ Mac uh, DJs. One of the first DJs that played it was uh, David Guetta um, and Calvin Harris. I mean, I remember that Calvin Harris tweeted um, about the track. That was very special. He, he said, this comes out next week by the track. And uh, to hear that from DJ like Calvin Harris, that's amazing. So our Twitter and kind of blew up after that. And then uh, I just woke up, someone sent me a, a video clip of uh, David Guetta and Afrojack was playing uh, a back-to-back -back show, also with Nico Romero at um, Tomorrowland. And they were playing that track and they were doing sit-downs and stuff. And after that it kind of exploded, yeah. yeah. So at the time of recording this interview, the official video of Booyah has over 154 million views on YouTube and there's about 70 million combined Spotify streams for the track. Um, did you expect that the track would be this big? Not, not that big, but I mean I expected it after seeing the clip from, from Tomorrowland and seeing the, the, the tweet from Calvin Harris, I thought okay this is, this is different than what I'm used to. So, uh, but that the track is going to be this big and it's still uh, they still play the track a lot I mean it was one of the most played tracks on Tomorrowland even this year 2019 so that's that's insane yeah, yeah. is it true that Buya also became a number one hit in the UK as well yeah absolutely yeah. so did you receive any awards for the track yeah I can show it to you <laughs> Um, so what happened with the We Are Loud project after Booyah? Uh, well, um, the expectations were of course very high and, and in the beginning we had a, a lot of requests from, from big DJs, uh, like top 10 DJs to do like a collaboration in the same kind of style. And uh, I mean, there was that's that's very difficult because you have such a huge track and, and to come up with like a track that it's even I mean you always want to be better so to come up with a track that's that's going to be better than Booyah that's that's difficult so uh, we tried a couple of co uh, collaborations uh, to do same kind of uh, um, track the same kind of crossover with uh, with reggae and, uh, and an EDM drop but um, yeah it was it, it was pretty difficult and um, we had uh, some nice tunes uh, for the last couple of years and we did some nice collaborations. Um, we also made a couple of pop tracks um, that were played on the radio. Uh, but we didn't have a, a huge hit like, like Booya uh, anymore after that. So, uh, yeah. So uh, your colleague Bjorn van der Begela, he left the project a while ago. Uh, mm -hmm. But now you work with someone, someone new. Okay, tell us a bit more about that. Yeah, well, in, in January uh, we heard that Bjorn uh, was gonna leave uh, We Are Loud. Uh, so, um, yeah, we had to, uh, to, to go on and uh, I mean, I was always... For me, We Are Loud was always... Uh, um, we, c we also came up with a name because we wanted to have... Uh, the meaning is, is, is like the music and, and if you're playing a gig everybody is we are loud and we are loud could be a bunch of people and uh, that was always the idea so uh, I came up with uh, two uh, guys Joshua and Frank uh, we just started working a couple of months ago 
Uh, the energy is really great. Uh, they're young guys, 19 years old. And my plans is, is to, to push them a little bit in front and to, to just produce tracks with the three of us. And they're gonna be uh, the, the face of, uh, of, of We Are Loud. And uh, I'm still gonna produce the tracks with them in the studio because that's what I really love. And uh, uh, so yeah, that's, that's exactly uh, what we're planning to. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the new We Are Loud is just released, right? Yeah, we just released uh, a new club uh, tune on uh, under uh, our uh, imprint from uh, Flashover, uh, Boom Chuck Records. Uh, it's, it's, it's just a small tease is what we're gonna do. This is just a, a club track uh, with a new kind of sound, uh, a bit more tech housey. And uh, we produced a lot of tracks for the next uh, couple of months, uh, pop tracks, uh, high energy tracks, uh, so uh, there's still a lot to come, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, you also released some stuff under your own name, uh, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, well that's that's uh, also, th well, that was my plan to produce with uh, three guys for We Allowed. And for that I have some more time to, to produce my own tracks under my own name. It's going to be more uh, techno, uh, tech, techy uh, stuff. Um, so that's 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 a bit bit different from from me a lot, but um, it's it's my personal taste. So that's why I'm gonna produce that under my own uh, name. And uh, yeah, I've got um, about five six releases right now, also on Flashover and Layer Nine and Nine. I'm, I'm for the next couple of months. I've got a, I've got a, a lot of uh, remixes and uh, releases coming out. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what else are you working on at the moment, or just those two projects? Uh, yeah, those two are uh, my main projects. Uh, beside that, I uh, I produce also for uh, TV, radio commercials, and uh, all kinds of stuff. I mean, music is just my passion, and uh, I would I'd love to work on different projects and. Uh, I'm also gonna do some uh, co-producing on uh, on different for DJ uh, different artists. So um, yeah. Okay. Well, last question: pineapple on pizza, yes or no? <laughs> wow. Uh, as long as as it's not uh, Italian pizza, I mean, I mean, I I really like I really like thin Italian pizza. If I would eat pineapple pizza, it would be like a really fat. American style pizza then then you would be I would agree on that yeah <laughs> okay. well thank you very much for your time and good luck with everything thank you thank you uh, for having me <laughs> all right that was it this week's vlog my interview with Daniel Ortiz from we are loud Daniel thank you very much for your time much appreciated thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed the vlog if you did make sure to give this video a like leave a comment in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe once again, thanks for watching and until next time, bye bye.